big uh, welcome to every one of you to today's game. I'm Martin Tyler, and the biggest welcome from me is to Alan Smith alongside me. This is our match today, Exeter City against Peterborough United. The line up for the home side, 4-3-3, and they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated job actually because they've got to come inside, support the centre forward and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball, so an onus on them. There's good progress with this attack. There's going to be a throw in after that tackle. Now he's looking for support. Good position for the cross. Missed with a chance to go into the lead now. Threw everything behind that shot and frustrated that it wasn't quite on target. Well, if he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. Giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. The break is definitely on. There's a chance for a double for the team that are the visiting team today. Had a good win against this side that they're visiting in the uh, other match between the two clubs earlier in the season. But I'm sure the hosts are really determined to... Uh, uh, get some revenge. Yeah, I'm sure they are. They should be because they didn't play well in that earlier game. But great chance here for the visitors to take six points off the, their opponents. Oh, it could be. Here's the chance. Well, they've all gone to the defender to say well done. But I think the guy who had the chance really should have scored. Well, he had the chance to uh, get his shot away, even though he had to take it quickly. Should have done better. Here's Kanu. That's good movement forward here. Jordan. This is the message for away supporters at full time. Can you Slipping it through. Bradden Inman. Thank you. A corner to come now. He's tackled the ball behind, really. Substitution time. Corner swung in. The opposition are pressing high up the pitch, but they're keeping the ball. They've got enough numbers back. Braden Inman. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. He saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Good defending. No cross, good block. He's got it back again from his teammate. And they've got a free kick here. Into the attacking third. Promising build up until that challenge. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. He made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception. Can he deal with it here?
Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. Space for the shot. Well, that's straightforward for the goalkeeper. And there is the half-time whistle. Nil-nil at the break. Just looking at the tactics of this match, maybe the substitution will hold the key. Reading of the play, anticipating the pass. Knocked away long. And it is played to Kanu. Braddon Inman. Easy work for the keeper here. Goal news from guided through. Good forward play from them. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. Well, that's where the free part of the pitch is in the wide areas, and he's got there. What an opportunity if he picks out the right man. Well, they've all gone to the defender to say, Well done. But I think the guy who had the chance really should have scored. Well, he had the chance to uh, get his shot away, even though he had to take it quickly. Should have done better. Substitution coming up. Here's Kanu. Well, they're in a good position here. Cross driven in low. And he's cut that out well, well read. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. A chance opening them up with a through pass. Place to try and hit it now. And it's into the back of the net. And they're in front now. He took the chance with absolute precision, Alan. Wasn't an easy one either, that Martin, but he made it look so. Well, let's take another look at the goal. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Now Hughes. A 
attacking well here. Break quickly when they get possession. He made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception. Anderson. Now Kanu. To level it up now. Kanu. No, it's offside. And it looks as though they might be in to score. Well, this is where managers really earn their money in a losing situation. They've got to make a substitution. Got to get it right, really, to have any chance of getting anything from the match. With great vision here. In with a chance. They can't stop him. And there's the cutback. Fine save he's made there. And he's not let the ball escape his grasp. attack now. It's a quick break. Oh, it's got to be. Got to be. It's a fine save. I'm not sure how relevant it's going to be at the end of it all. Well, it won't be popular if the opposition go and get an equaliser here, I can tell you. Corner played in. Tries to punch it away. to tackle here and he's done that ball two minutes left that's added time Kanu good work really to read the intention of the pass trying to get the ball in behind needs to stay cool now opportunity here up for grabs here rock of a defensive performance today. It has. They've come under an awful amount of pressure. Euro League. Arsenal 2, Galatasaray 1. Bayer Leverkusen 1, Valencia 1. Schalke 1, Spartak Moscow, 2. Napoli, 1. Sevilla, 2. Olympic Lyonnais, 2. PAOK, 0. Olympic Marseille, 1. Feyenoord, 2. Anderlecht, 2. Eintracht Frankfurt, 0. Tottenham Hotspur, 2. Rangers, 1. English Football League, 1. Exeter City, 1. Peterborough United, 0. Rochdale, 1. Plymouth Argyle, 2. Now let's see what effect that's had on the league standings. At the top of the table remain Millwall with 80 points. In second, Scunthorpe United with 64 points. In third, Oxford United with 61 points. In fourth, Bristol Rovers with 58 points. In fifth, Milton Keynes Dons with 53 points. In sixth, Barnsley with 51 points. In 7th, Walsall with 48 points. In 8th, Wickham Wanderers with 48 points, but only behind on goal difference. Bottom of the table, Rochdale with 19 points. And then reading up the table, 2nd bottom, Blackpool with 24 points. 3rd bottom, Mansfield Town with 33 points, but only behind on goal difference. 4th bottom, Southend United with 33 points.